ago I did a video on the Rising Star quilt block and uh, before I do videos I always do little test blocks and so I have these six 12 inch blocks. These were done with the method of stitching four flying geese at a time and these blocks finish at 12 inches and I wanted to make a quilt of valor so I used all red, white, and blue fabrics for these demo blocks and I intended to make more blocks to do a whole quilt. But in that same video I also did um, the method of doing uh, the blocks with the AccuQuilt Rising Star die and I included instructions for how to cut, what sizes to cut, to get three blocks out of three fat quarters for both the uh, flying geese method and the AccuQuilt die method. So when it came time to put the quilt together, um, I wanted to make two quilts of valor and this is the first one and I just decided that's enough blocks. And also this block here in the middle is from the quarter square triangles, it's the Ohio star block. And these finish at 12 inches. The rising star AccuQuilt die finishes at 10 inches and the Ohio star finishes at 9 inches. So what I did was I wanted to make it roughly 60 by 80. So I knew if I put these six together that would be 72 inches. And so I started with that and then I just calculated how wide these two would be. So 10 inches and 10 inches. And I think this is a 3 inch finished um, sashing between them. So that's what I did with these two up here and these two down here. I pieced little rows. And then with this one I just calculated what I needed to have it in the center. And because these calculations for these horizontal sashing did not come out to an even number, you'll see at the top and the bottom of this column I added uh, about an inch to each one. That way these were easier numbers to, to, to deal with. So it, it turned out that I had an extra one of these blocks because I had nine, but as I was piecing it I just think I totally forgot about it because I didn't find it till I had finished the, the quilt top and I thought, okay, that looks good. And it, it turned out nice because then I I figured out what the length was this, and then I cut these pieces. So before I pieced anything, I cut these long pieces lengthwise. I think I had about two and a half yards of this background fabric. And then I cut these after I figured out what width to make these. So this one, this one, and this one are both cut lengthwise grain. And then I just added a border. And I see there's a little bit of fullness here, so probably what I did was when I pieced this part, I didn't actually measure it, which I should have, but anyway, that will probably quilt out. In the video description, there's a link to the Rising Star tutorial, and it shows how to do flying geese four at a time, and it gives you information on piecing it with the AccuQuilt. There's also a link to the video that shows the quarter square triangles and the Ohio star block. So I made a second quilt of valor and this is just squares alternating with a background and I just chose squares and cut them uh, three and a half inches so these finished at three inches and I just put them in no particular order um, and alternated with the background fabric. So I will be finishing these two quilts for some veterans. Be sure to uh, share the video with your friends and subscribe and we'll see you next time.